looking live at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas, where Nebraska is looking to mess with Texas in a championship matchup that has its history of upsets in the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship on ABC. For the Longhorns, folks, the stakes are sky high. No margin for error tonight. While the Husker Nation attempts to throw the college football world into a frenzy with an upset. There is a roadblock. Where's number 93? <laughs> and Dominican Sue of Nebraska. What a year he's had. And Dominican Sue is most the most dominant defensive lineman in, in the all of college football. And of course he has the great size. But I think the one thing that stands out is the combination of the speed and the quickness and the power to go along with that. The coaches say his awareness is probably as good as they've seen. Almost like a linebacker. Has great instincts. And there's the quickness. You can see how quickly he gets off and has the chance to make a play in, in the, uh, in the open field. So, Sue's going to have to be able to step up. For Nebraska to compete tonight, their defense has to get their offense to ball in a short field. And for Gideon, Herbie, that's his fifth. First down and ten, and McCory's going to put it back up on first down. Good final receiver. Sue closing in from the backside. There is the champ. Sue and his buddy Crick. This is exactly what Nebraska wants to do. The matchup zone. Take away the underneath throws, the easy throws, the Colt McCoy. How many times have we seen him want to get rid of the ball quickly? But when they're covered, you have to hold on to the football, and that allows Nebraska's talented front four to get pressure. They want to pressure with four and allow the back set. Third down and two. McCoy rolling to the right. Great coverage with Sue coming up at the end of that play. You can see number 93 was closing in and Gomes again. Herbie, Herbie, take a look at this. It's obviously towards the end of the play after Gomes makes the play. Big push by Sue and he comes right down. We'll have to take a, close, take a very close look at this when we come back. From the 31, Colt kept it. And Sue threw him for a loss of a yard. And Dominican Sue, who's going to pick up a lot of hardware. Undoubtedly, he's the leader in all the categories for Defensive Player of the Year. Well, he fights right through Chris Hall, and he doesn't give up on the play. Look at him. He's fighting off Chris Hall with his left arm, and he wraps up Colt McCoy with his right arm. Look at him fighting off. He's being held, and he still has that right arm with a clothesline to bring in poor Colt McCoy. Here's the handoff. Newton trying to stretch the defense. And second down and 23. And McCoy back. Going to throw. And has to take off. The receivers were covered. And he is thrown down by Indomitian Sue. Indomitian is dominating. Wow. But because of the coverage, watch Sue fight through this double team. Chris Hall trying to help out with Michael Huey actually pushed Huey. McCoy has thrown for 97. Not much doing there. Gomes up again from the secondary. Makes it easy for Colt. And they uh, pick up the tempo a little bit. And Sue making a stop. Still another one for Nebraska. McCoy was under so much heat that time, he just had to get it out of there. And there is a counter step by Newton. And guess what? Did not fool Sue. Took on the counter. Well, they're trying to take advantage of the defense over pursuing. And Sue's right in the middle here. Watch what he does. You're going to try to come back? You're going to try to take advantage of the defense overflowing? He has such quickness and lateral movement, he, he comes right back with the running back and wraps him up. Colt McCoy, the last five weeks, has been on fire. He's on second down in the end zone. It's close. No signal for safety. He was able to get the ball out. And Dominican Sue again. Well, Huey and Chris Hall have had their hands full the entire game. This time, poor David Snow gets in on the act. Texas, very, very close to giving up a safety here. Uh, Getting Nebraska within. Sue made the play again. He's been all over the field. Folks, when's the last time you saw in college now a defensive tackle dominate a football game? 
inside shuttle pass the third time tonight using Newton to the 20 yard line and picking up about four yards on that play before Sue and Crick bring number 23 down. Going down again at the 30 yard line and that was in Damakin Sue hitting him first. Texas is down a pair back. McCoy will take off and it'll be second down coming up. Third down and 13. Roll pocket right. Throw it out of bounds and stop the clock. Wait a minute. Did the game end? Nebraska thinks it's over. McCoy may have run the clock out. Mack thinks there's a second left. I thought there was a second left. I think Bo Pelini should settle down the Nebraska sideline for everything. Got it. Texas goes to Pasadena. And I've got to say that Indomitian Sue, number 93 of Nebraska, played as fine of defensive football game as I have ever seen. I'm with you. I'm with you. That, that was a dominating performance. 